Hey everyone, it's High Tech Man here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii. Now, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do this, and honestly, they they suck. Okay, I'm just no other better word for it. Uh, I decided that I'm going to be doing one myself with actually good quality devices and actually showing you how to do the process from start to finish and hopefully nothing will go bad. Of course, uh, I do not take any responsibility for anything that happens to your system because you are doing this at your own free will, okay? And without further ado, let's get started on the project. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and enable my capture card here. And now you can see that we have a Nintendo Wii hooked up right now. All we're gonna do now is, in order to do this properly, you're gonna have to do, you have to go into your Wii settings. So I'm gonna go to the Wii options here. Click on Wii settings. And you're going to have to do a few things. Number one, write down what version you have. You see the latest version is 4.3U. For you it might be 4.3E or 4.3K. That just depends on what uh, part of the world you are in. Uh, you're going to need to go to your internet settings here and make sure of two things. Number one, that you are properly connected to the internet. So in my case, I'm just going to do a quick uh, connection test to make sure that everything is okay. I'm just going to fast forward this part of the video. So you can see here my connection test was okay. I'm just gonna skip the Wii update because I know this is the latest update. So now what we need to do is you need to go into your uh, let's go back. You need to go back again. Console information. Now you're gonna see here that you have a MAC address. Okay, you're gonna need to remember this MAC address. So go ahead and write it down. Uh, you can see that here in the video it's gonna be uh, censored out because you don't want you guys finding out what my MAC address is. Okay. So in, now that you've got it written down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, us out of full screen here. And you're gonna to go to a website. It's called please.hackme.com. This is called the letter bar. I mean, if you see this, this is normal, okay? It's gonna ask you for your MAC address right here. So what you're gonna to have to do is real quickly, just put it in. It's, it comes in, you know, five different, uh, you know, two section keys. And just put it in real quickly. I'm just gonna go ahead and put mine in real quickly. Okay, so once your MAC address is put in, make sure that you have selected uh, the, the version you have. In my case, it's going to be 4.3U, uh, but again, there's the 4.3E, J, K, depending on what part of the world you're in right now. All I have to do now is you also want to make sure that the bundle, the me, or the hack me installer for me is in there correctly. Now you want to uh, put in the capture that you see here, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in real quickly. So, uh, it's going to say down here, it's just a little joke, cut the red wire or the blue wire, it doesn't really matter. You just say one of the buttons, I'm just going to say the blue wire. And you're going to see that you're, it's automatically going to start downloading and it's finished downloading. Basically, it downloads a zip folder and you just want to extract that real quickly. If you have a Mac, it'll automatically extract. I'm just going to put it on the desktop real quickly right here. And then now what you're going to need is you're going to need a... Uh, SD card. Now you have to make sure though that it is not an SDHC SD card, okay? If it's an SDHC uh, uh, card, it will not work. So just make sure that you have one of those. In this case, I'm just going to put it in a little USB reader here and hook it into the computer. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open the letter bomb uh, folder and all the things that you see in this folder. You're just going to want to have to, you just want to select all of them and you want to copy them and you're just going to want to paste it all into the root directory so let me delete this file into the root directory of this sd card so i'm just going to go ahead and paste items it shouldn't take that long okay so now it's all ready to go so you need to make sure that you, you properly eject your card so let me do that real quickly all right okay so now what you want to do is you want to go back to your Wii. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the SD card and you're going to want to turn off your Nintendo Wii. So we're just going to go ahead and do that real quickly. Now what you want to do is you want to insert the SD card into the Wii and then turn it on. You can go already hear that my Wii is turning on right now. You see the health and safety warning, press, press A. So now this is what you're going to do. You want to go to your messages. Now, depending on your time zone, it's either going to appear in the today section, tomorrow section, or the yesterday section. You can see that it just popped up under the today section. 
All right, so just go ahead and click that. You're gonna see this uh, lines of text, completely normal, completely expected, okay? So just go ahead and just give it a few seconds. I'll go ahead and fast forward some of the longer parts of this video. Now you're gonna see here, this is their little disclaimer. If you bought this software at all, demand a refund. There are scam websites out there with like, looks like a picture of a box and a CD. Just, you know, never buy this software. It's free for usage. I'm making a video on how to do it for free. So if you, you know, paid for it in any way, shape or form, go ahead and demand your money back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so it's gonna say press one to continue. So just push one. Okay, so now you can see here that on my computer or my Wii, it's gonna say install the Homebrew channel can be installed, but boot me can only be installed as an iOS because I have the black Wii. If you had the white Wii, the classic Wiis before, I don't remember what specific year, but uh, it, you'll be able to do both of these things. But for now, we're just gonna to wanna to install the Homebrew channel. So just click A on your Wii remote. You wanna go up until you see install the Homebrew channel. Just click on A. It says install Homebrew channel now. You say yes, continue. It's gonna say installing the Homebrew channel. Just give it a few seconds and it's done. So just hit continue and basically A on your Wii remote. Go all the way down until until you see the exit button click a and it's going to reboot the me or the we into the homebrew channel and now you can see now that you're using the homebrew channel you can see here's the cursor and everything if you hit the home button you'll be able to see the different settings you can see your, your ip address on your uh on your console what ios version all that stuff so if you just want to get out of course just go ahead and go exit to system menu all right so now it's just gonna reboot itself. And now you can see here, it's right there, the Homebrew channel. No problems, go ahead and click on it anytime. Click start, and it's ready to go. Now of course, with the Homebrew channel, it allows you to do other things such as play with emulators and things like that. Uh, and it also does something that I like to personally do, which is run your legally owned games on a backup hard drive. Now, that's what we're gonna do in part two of this video. So if you want, just go ahead and just click on my annotate, click on my little video right here in the annotation right here, and it'll just take you to the second video. Else you can just click on the description, it should have part two to this video, okay? So this has been High Tech Man signing off on how to install the Homebrew channel on your Wii. Don't forget to click for part two, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Again, High Tech Man signing off.